VMware is market leader in private cloud space, but recently we have seen with the uh, types which it has done with uh, AWS. It has the uh, VMware on AWS, which is a really successful tie-up, and uh, we are seeing similar tie-ups with VMC on Dell EMC, with uh, uh, VMware on um, Azure, and uh, VMware on Google Cloud Platform, which is for, uh, the offerings with uh, Cloud Simple, uh, which they have got. So we are seeing that they are becoming uh, quite popular with the public cloud as well. And it is a really nice skill to have. Uh, the good news is my training course is for all beginners. If you don't know anything about virtualization, this course is for you because I have already delivered a course with uh, vSphere 6.7, which I have taught people from basics to uh, intermediate. All I need from you is uh, the, uh, the drive to learn new technologies and uh, this is why I have uh, designed this course with vSphere 7 which was launched in April this year from VMware. This new hypervisor is built from ground level up. It is redefined for uh, working with developers with Kubernetes built in um, where DevOps can natively use the APIs and uh, provision their workloads. So it's quite exciting to be a part of VMware journey in this new domain where it is taking us. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Ibrahim Qureshi. My Twitter handle is Ibrahim Qureshi at the rate Ibrahim Qureshi as you can see here. And you can follow my blog as well, which is agileops.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and like for new updates. Let's discuss a little bit about me, your mentor. I have 13 years experience in IT. I have successfully implemented and managed multiple VMware products and hundreds of ESX hypervisors and uh, thousands of virtual machines. I have extensive experience in virtualization from VMware platform uh, alone really. I have successfully done data, many data center migrations. I have quite a few certifications as you can see here. My first certification was when I was uh, still doing my college back in 2000 which was Windows NT 4.0 if you guys uh, remember that. And uh, I had Cisco certification. Microsoft certification in uh, MCSA 2016 so in server 2016 I have um, VCP certification in VCP 5 VCP data center uh, virtualization in 6 VMware has honored me with uh, vexpert 2019 and uh, vexpert 2020 this year as well with the contributions I have been doing in the virtual community if you have any questions, you can always reach out on Twitter at uh, Ibrahim Qureshi. That's my handle there. And just a reminder, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and give, the, give a like to this video. My YouTube channel can be shared. Share it with your friends on so social media. And uh, it's all free. So enjoy watching. Let's look into the certification track from VMware. Um, this, um, this is a quite busy slide but let me walk you through it um, this is the reference where I got this um, image from there are quite a few tracks from VMware the one we are going to work on is data center virtualization which is called DCV track there is network virtualization NV track and uh, cloud management and automation M CMA track uh, desktop mobility track and also digital workspace track so we are interested in DCV track as I said um, what we need to focus here is you need to have some level of understanding of VMware product and then you can start progressing in the uh, certifications if you are really interested in that. So over here on the legend you can see the exams which are required and the training which is required. So there is only one training which is required. My course which I am delivering here it will help you immensely if you are uh, beginners with VMware. It will teach you most of the uh, terminology. It will 
take you through a lot of uh, products and features of VMware which will help you in sitting on the course and also getting your exam if you really want to get a VCP certification but that's up to you entirely um, but I just need to mention a note here there is a free requirement if you do want to go for the certification which is a, a minimum five day course from VMware uh, which is a training course requirement um, the course will be VMware vSphere install configure and manage you can get it from a VMware learning partner or VMware online or directly from VMware but as I said this course will definitely help you in um, understanding the product and it will help you a lot in the exam if you are looking for it then you can once you have this course you need to uh, there is a mandatory exam for vSphere foundation then you can give your VCP exam which is VMware certified professional if you do want to go up the ladder again there are two exams and two tracks so you can uh, go for a VMware certified uh, uh, advanced professional the exam which you will need to attend uh, give is um, uh, there is one in development and one in design so you need to get those two exams uh, only then you will be VMA certified advanced pro uh, professional so once you get these two there is another exam which you can give uh, which is a data center certification VCDX and there are not a lot of VCDX um, certified people around the good news is VMware certification has no expiry date so if you get certification in VMware they are never going to expire and certification the certificate has the year when you pass the exam as an example obviously if you pass your VCP exam you will get the badge VMware certified professional data center virtualization 2020 and if you do go up the ladder and you get the VMware certified advanced professional VCAP exams then you get the data center virtualization design and the data center virtualization deployment batches and if you really want to go for the final the doctorate degree as they call with VMware certification then you can go for the VMware certified design expert exam uh, which will give you or earn you the batch of uh, design expert so I hope to see you one of you guys there because I'm not quite there yet but I'm trying it's it's quite interesting to see and uh, teach these things because I am quite passionate about uh, technology and I love sharing uh, what I know with others so let's get started so the course content, I have divided the course into eight different modules. The module one will be focusing on virtualization and VMware. The module two will be installing, configuring the vSphere and the vCenter. We'll look into a lot of details of the new product with the uh, seven and compare it with the older uh, vSphere 6.7 as well. So it will be interesting one, which will be um, when we are going to go through the course. Module 3 will be virtual machines, templates and clones. Module 4, storage. Module 5, VMware virtual networks. Module 6 will be vMotion, high availability, DRS, all those, the advanced sort of features. Then we'll dive into module 7, which is like patching, security, which is very essential for any product really. And then we'll do some advanced troubleshooting module at the end of the session what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask a question on end of each session which uh, I just showed you in agenda so I want you to comment and just to test your knowledge whether you understood the topic or not for today basically comment below and introduce me to yourself what level of experience you have and uh, why do you want to learn virtualization maybe and uh, tell me what what's your favorite topic which uh, we have discussed today so comment on below guys my blog is agileops.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and um, give me a thumbs up to get all the new updates from me. Enjoy watching and keep sharing guys. Cheers.